Hello guys and welcome back to another installment of Grim Dawn. This is Nikki and we are entering the village of Darkvale in order to get to the Darkvale gate. Now, before you get to fight, uh, you, before you get to uh, fight Karas, the sigil of Catan, you have to beat her, his lieutenant, Zarya the Carver. Which is quite a tough fight if you are not prepared. My attempt on veteran with this guy back when the old days didn't work go too well. Okay, she cleaned my clock a few times. But yeah, depending on the character build, you're gonna have an easy time or a hard time. I have a lot of life. Life drain resistance and chaos resistance, so there is no problem for me, for me, anyway. But, if you're planning to take her on, yeah, you better prepare a bit. Also, nothing here on the, the farmland, farmland area, just some demons from the warp, nothing too exciting. But yeah, as you can see, I've already been to the village of Darkvale, but for some reason OBS decided to screw me and I record it. Good thing I didn't kill Zarya so I can complete the quest on uh, on camera for you guys, but yeah. Anywho, this is the entrance to the village. Nothing here to see except for a few cultists and summoners. Beware of the summoners, they can summon, su summon some of the red crystals. Those crystals really drain your life. And I believe they have an HP reduction as well. <clears throat> I do. I know for a fact that Zarya's crystals do 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 That's have that. So careful when you do <sighs> when you do this place. As I said a thousand times. Also, equipment change. Nothing to talk about. Still said the same equipment. Haven't found anything fancy. I didn't do crucible because I want to finish a little difficulty. Next time, next, next time this Easter. That oh yeah, how you guys doing on Easter? Around here is snowing like hell. Yeah, the Easter bunny is gonna come with Santa again. Cause why not? Okay. But yeah, just killing around the blade. Uh, I like those, those blades. Those spinning blades are so nice. Also, yeah, a lot of nemesis, uh, nemesis heroes on this path. Like Lux Lux Bloodbath, Bloodbath or something. But yeah, two of them in fact. Wow. I didn't see that coming. Hm. But yeah. Game related, there's an altar here, a devotion shrine here, be sure to check it out. It's the only one in this area, so yeah. So yeah, if you're missing devotion points and you do not have the Crucible DLC like I do, make sure to tag it. It's on the way anyway, so there's no way you can miss it. But yeah, <coughs> sorry about that. Apart from this, hmm, crappy gear. The belt is cool, no? But nah, I'm not gonna use it. Pretty much everything here, with a few exceptions, is gonna be sold. But yeah, we're almost to Fort Icon. Can't wait to get there. It's been a while coming. I forgot the journal, sorry about that. Couldn't get myself up to that place anyway, so yeah. Also, more cultists to kill, cause why not? I can do it. Oh yeah, two spinning blades with lifesteal. I can with the bat. Devotion power on them. Quite nice. Especially in doing boss fights. <clears throat> but yeah. Nothing here to see, just a few chests, and we'll soon get to a dynamite-like one. Uh, chest that will require dynamite for you to open. That not ready. 
But yeah, that has a, an ancient heart on it, so we kinda got that for the Shrine of Mordrogon quest. Yeah. Everything was well. What can I say? Junk, junk, and junk. Everything has to be junk. Oh yeah, it's so good to be overpowered for the area. This will end soon when we get to the expansion, I promise the enemies there are quite strong. Also, I got a dirt and I, tr I forgot the way to get to that part of... to that building on top of the rocks. There is a way to get there, but since I got bored anyway, I decided not to. Because I'm lazy like that. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Nothing but lazy. But yeah. 10 minute video. Quite nice. Come on. These guys are nothing. Also, Julius. Hello, Julius. How's it going? I found you two times on the way off camera. Yeah. Uh, too bad. But yeah. This is the chest I was talking about. And here comes the ancient heart. Cool. Oh yeah, by the way, in case you're, in case you're wondering, this is a post-recording. OBS That's really hates ready. the fact that I click multiple times in the game screen window and start, decides not to record from time to time the audio. So I use Camtasia voice narration to do that. But yeah. I record this in window mode. The game anyway. With window yes. capture and sometimes the sound doesn't get recorded. As well or it gets choppy. Choppy I mean. Not choppy. Choppy. Thank you. You're fluent in English. Act like one idiot also we're getting close getting close to the to Zari <coughs> Zaria the Carver come on no not there don't be dumb thank you yeah that way there not so hard when you apply your brain isn't it God damn it. Also, as you can see, the altar is right there, alongside what? Hello there, Missy. How's it going? Zaria the Carver. The Sigil of Catan's Lieutenant. Quite an easy fight. As you can see, I'm too over level for that. I was planning on taken down avatar of Mordogan, but somehow I still need to grind a bit. Also, the altar here is quite a surprise, as you can see. I think, yeah, there's two hero, uh, two nemesis here. No, three! Well, yeah, imagine if I would activate if I would have activated that when I was fighting the boss. So make sure not to do that. But yeah. This is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Nikki signing out in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bye bye.